Hey, what's going on everybody? This is D Revolution. I've written three books, four screenplays, and I've recorded three poetry CDs. This video I'm recording uh, is a little bit out of the ordinary, but I thought I would take a shot in the dark. So, um, this is an open letter to the Rachowskis. Um, basically, I'm a huge fan of the, of the Matrix, Matrix movies, and I just have a few ideas about the next Matrix movie and where, where you should go and how this should, how we could really turn, how you can make the Matrix into a franchise like Star Wars and, and you know, and that. First, let me say, I, I think I've seen all of your films except Speed Racer. I seen um Bound, but I seen Bound many years after it was people would tell me about it, but I seen it I think I haven't seen Bound after the Matrix. After I seen all the Matrix movies. But I seen uh V for Bandata. I've seen Cloud Atlas and I've seen Ninja Ninja Assassin. Uh and then of course all the Matrix movies. And and I think Aside from Speed Racer, that's all the films that you guys have. And me being a master storyteller, the one thing that I will say, and I really felt like this when I seen Cloud Atlas, is that, well, I felt this when I seen V for Vendetta as well, but, uh, we need you guys. You know, the type of stories you tell and the, the substance and the depth of the stories you tell, we, we need you guys. And uh, what what's more important but to put more into the Matrix world? I think when the Matrix 4 came out, I watched some of it, but I, I, I couldn't really get into it because it was not the Matrix to me. Um, the, the thing is, is that you know, when you look at the first three Matrix movies, um, you guys put us in the Matrix world. I mean, everything from the coding to the color to the score. And when when I didn't initially see that in the first 30 minutes of the last Matrix, I was not, really not interested in it. But for Matrix 5... We can we can skip over Matrix Four for Matrix Five. What you guys should do, you should start with the story about Morpheus. We we gonna take it all the way back to the beginning and start with Morpheus and go from there. And you can introduce a younger Morpheus and go from there and introduce younger Trinity, a younger Neo and and so on and so on and so on. Now, one franchise that did that and did it very well was the X Men franchise, where they introduced a new younger Magneto. They introduced a new younger Beast and a new younger um uh, I don't remember the the girl the blue girl name, but I mean it got to a point where we looked at those characters as the new uh X Men characters. But the way the way that that franchise did that, they did it really smooth. So we let's start over the Matrix with Matrix Five. We start off with a younger Morpheus, and so on and so on. There's so many stories to tell that can be told from here on out. We can't continue to stick with. Um, I'm saying we like it's my movie. Uh, we can't. You can't still c stick with. John Wick, you know what I'm saying? I mean, basically, you know, no no disrespect to, to, to uh, Keanu Reeves, but, we, you know, in order to keep this franchise going, we need to make the characters younger, and how you do that is, is Matrix 5 is based on, you know, how it all started with Morpheus. And, and at that point, you had a younger Morpheus in Matrix 4. I like that guy. I think that, um... I don't know his name. I think that that's your Morpheus right there. Then at some point you could use some of the younger actors and actresses to bring back, you know, I mean, Trinity have a story. Uh, Mouse have a story. 
and even um damn what was that dude name um cipher has a story and where it all began you know when he first started not believing in the matrix and what caused him to betray the matrix in the first original matrix movie so there's a lot of story there and you know i'm a writer but but that's that's what that's that is the the route you should go uh with matrix 5 if you do a matrix 5 is that you know uh, let's start over with morpheus a younger morpheus and kind of build from there but and i plead i plead to you guys on this if you guys do create another matrix create the the matrix use the same score use the same green coding you put us in that world because that's what matrix fans care about it's been in that world even with animatrix i've watched that several times because it puts you in that mysterious matrix world when when if you guys if you guys um stray away from that that um originality then it's, it's not gonna work the matrix is a world for the matrix and once you start trying to make it a regular film and tell a regular story and not put all of the stuff you put in there in the first three then basically it's not gonna do well people want to be in the matrix world because that's what the three films did it put you in a world everything from the music to uh to the color to to the fancy uh shots and everything like that and as long as you guys keep doing that you guys will be billionaires all right because you will have a, a, a definitely franchise on your hand and, and i mean and the matrix is so thoughtful and so um good that people will watch them you know, I know I will. And, you know, I, I mean, if you need a writer, I'm here. I'm from Chicago as well. I know you guys are from Chicago. Uh, uh, basically, um, this is just a letter to the Wachowskis. I love your film, and I am pleading for you to do a Matrix 5 and uh, try to use my, my try to use, uh, I'm, I'm not going to claim it or nothing. This is just my love for the movie, you know, uh, but I think if you went that route, I think that 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 would be a great to really start shooting the Matrix and you guys probably won't have to ever make another film if you don't want to because there's so many stories when the Matrix start over with Morpheus, there's so many things that can happen from there. You can do whatever you want with it, but keep us in that Matrix world. Keep us green. Peace.